In this problem, we have a function, f of y. It's a piecewise function. And we have to find the value of c that makes it a probability density function. So, solution. So there's two properties that have to be satisfied. The first one is that f of y is non-negative for all values of y. And the second one is if we integrate from negative infinity to infinity, f of y dy, we should get 1. So we're going to start by using this to find uh, the value of c. Then we can always use this to help check our answer. Okay, so we're going to integrate from negative infinity to infinity, f of y dy. And we want this to be equal to 1. So this is going to be 0 everywhere except when you're between 0 and 2. So when we're going from negative infinity to infinity, all the other integrals that we get are going to be the integrals of 0. And those are all going to become 0 because they're definite integrals. So basically, we only have to integrate from 0 to 2. And then we have cy dy. And we want this to be equal to 1. And again, what's happening here is that we're really breaking this up into three integrals. Let me, let me do it over here on the side because I feel like a lot of people, um, they just skip this step maybe and don't really understand it. So rewriting this as follows, negative infinity to zero, well, there it's going to be zero because it's zero elsewhere. And then plus zero to two, that would be cy dy. And then plus you know two to infinity, that would be zero dy. So these pieces here that I'm circling, they're both going to be zero because when you integrate these, you're going to get a constant, and then you're going to have limits of integration, and you'll do constant minus constant, and so you'll get zero, and so these, these will be zero. So boom. So we just go straight to this. Good times. So now we just have to integrate this. Uh, we'll integrate y by using the power rule. Remember, c is a constant, so it just kind of hangs out. This will be cy squared over 2. And this is equal to, to 1. And we're going from 0 to 2. We'll plug in the 2 first. So we'll get c2 squared over 2. Then we subtract and plug in 0. So c0 zero squared over 2. And that's equal to 1. 2 squared is 4. So this will be uh, 4 over 2. So we just get 2c. Minus, and then this piece here is 0, and that's equal to 1. So 2c is equal to 1. So c is equal to 1 over 2. And that's the value of c, which makes this a probability um, density function. If we go back up here uh, and you plug in c, which is 1 half, uh, it, does, it does work. It does satisfy this condition because you would get 1 half y. And that's certainly greater than or equal to 0 when y is between 0 and 2. And this one's already greater than or equal to 0, so this condition uh, is also satisfied. I hope this video has been helpful. That's it.